Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. It's time to take the plunge into the sealed room. Now, there is a random gold mice in here. If it doesn't appear, I'm not going to show you its contents. But I will have a little pop-up on the screen telling you what this mouse has. I believe it's got 30 coins and 40 bills. So, what you want to do when you drop, drop, excuse me, drop into here is when you come out of this chimney, you have to aim and fire your vacuum, or I should say suck in your vacuum to the right immediately. Otherwise, you can miss your chance at this gold mouse. Come on, up here, baby, up here. Up here! No, it didn't appear! Dang it! So, yeah, the, the gold mouse in this room is a random gold mouse, and it's the last gold mouse in the game. Um, the last blue ghost in the game is also uh, in this room as well. But anyway, basically the mouse takes this path. It starts off about here, then scampers off around here, and eventually ends up over here. The, this room is completely sealed off, as per the name, the sealed room. So the only way out of this room is to examine this mirror over here. But, as I said, there's a blue ghost in here, so I definitely don't want to leave this room just yet. I believe the treasure chest that holds the gold, uh, gold mouse, blue ghost is this one. So let's shake it up. I said shake it up. Come on. There we go. Thank yes. No! And that's an easy one to get too. Curses! I should have tried getting it from the front like that. Because it, it, it opened the other way. But that blue ghost contains, I believe, 20 coins, 5 bills, and an emerald. Uh, anyway, let's clear out this room now. Um, I believe the treasure chest in the center holds all the ghosts. Um, so, before you do anything else, clear out this room. It, well, I guess you could clear out the room with its pocket change ahead of time. Um, oh, I should also add that since that was the very last um, blue ghost and gold, mi gold mouse in the game, I'm pretty much done searching around for them, and that makes me feel pretty dang good, I have to say. Uh, I was always worried th throughout this entire walkthrough that I was going to miss showing off something. So, that makes me quite happy. And I'm showing off pretty much as much as I possibly can, and, and then some, in this game. So, uh, I hope you've been enjoying all the secrets and stuff that I've been showing throughout this entire walkthrough. Because this house has a lot of easter eggs of sorts. Uh, treasure chest up here. And nothing in that little uh, pot up there, I guess. Unless there is something, and it just didn't appear because of the random appearance thing. That actually looked more like a goblet over there. Anyway! Let's open this up and start the real challenge of this room. Well, it's not really much of a challenge, just for ghosts. And, yeah, there's a dangler, a smasher. Ah, shoot, it's basically one of each of the basic types of ghosts. Ow, don't do that to me. I'm going to make sure you're out of the way, because you've got pretty strong range. And you've only got... In fact, you don't have any HP. Unless 0 HP counts as 1 HP in the ghost world or something like that. So... Yeah, it's, it's, it's just like an instant death kill um, enemy there. There are no boos in the sealed room, nor will any boos go into this room if I'm not mistaken. But it is required to come in here for a key. Uh, which opens a room in on the second floor there, as you can see. Uh, but I have a choice of paths to go to now. I can either go into the basement there and, and into that room, or I can go into the second floor, uh, that room over there. So I got kind of a split path going here. But the first thing I'm going to do is, of course, go back to the foyer, because there's nothing else I can do over here. And then make my decision. I think... What I should do is, because I have to walk up to the um, second floor manually again after going to the basement, what I'm just going to do is go down to the basement now and cover the other rooms as I go up back up to the stairs later. I think that'll be a little bit more time efficient. Oh, dang it, I forgot. I have to clean off these dang ash piles or whatever the heck these are from the chimney. Now, where, how the heck do these things keep appearing anyway? Ooh, I, I forgot to shake down this room of stuff, didn't I? Because I got some money from that pretty easily. Ooh, two hearts! Woohoo! 
Um, might as well shake down this stuff then, as long as I'm here. But I did make sure to get the blue ghost from this crate here. And, like, how the heck do these piles of dirt keep appearing? Seriously, man. Ugh. Anyway, down this way. Um, this door leads to the final boss of the game. Um, you need 40 boos to get through the door at the end of the hallway that you find down there. But let me into this freaking door. There we go. Okay, you need ice in this room, so it's a good thing I got, I got the ice element. What you want to do... Well, I'll, I'll just take care of these guys first. Um, you can freeze that water over there, basically. Let go of me. Let... I said let go of me. Don't do that. And, ooh, these slimy ghosts up here are definitely gonna go. And you have got... Don't do that. Well, at least you don't cause me any damage. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take care of the red guy first here. Hey, come on now. Go away, green ghost. You're annoying. And I can deal with the other one since it doesn't do any damage. Oh, I guess you can also get ice from that uh, barrel over there. And there's a blue, I should say a boo ghost in here. I was going to say boo ghost, but it's actually a blue. And this is the boo that I lost before, simply because I couldn't get it in time. And I'm going to see if I can get it this time. Um, well, I might as well just try, I mean, I might as well freeze this water first. Uh, just to save a little time for later. And I'll go to the hallway. Hello there. I'm going to try and get you to go into the other room. Thank you. That's exactly what I wanted you to do. Because otherwise I'd have to go all the way around again. No, 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 I don't think so. Stop doing that. No, no, don't. And don't you dare go... I was going to say, don't you dare go into the room down here. Um, the room over there is the cold storage room. I can't get into it just yet. Um, uh, I'm going to shake up. Well, I shouldn't say shake up. Uh, press the E button next to here to turn off that little waterfall there, which will allow me access to this treasure chest over here. And this should give me another key. And, uh, oh shoot, I got an eyelash in my eye. Dang it! Okay, there we go. And that leads to the room down the hall that I complained that the boo went into. There should be another boo in here. Is it going to be the ice thingy there? No, it's just a ball. But I know there's another boo in here somewhere. Wait, wait, wait what? Can I shake this? I can shake that thing. In this crate again? Uh, I guess those boos were doing each other or something like that, because they were hiding in the same place. And that, that this boo is, like, really slow, but it's got a lot of HP and stamina. Uh, but it's probably one of the easiest uh, large HP boos in the game to get, just because of how slow it is. Come on. Come on. Don't go into curses! Well, anyway, the next room is a pretty tough room to beat. Um, this is the cold storage room. What you want to do is oh hello there no wait i don't want i don't want you just yet i want to get rid of this portrait ghost first um because see those icicles on the ceiling if they ever hit you they do a whopping 20 points of damage yes 20 points of damage so you don't want i almost got hit by one of them there and over here is the next portrait ghost. You can see him in the ice there if you turn your back to him. Um, he's kind of the chilly, loving ghost, as you can see. That icicle just went right through me, as you can see. Um, what was his name? I completely forgot his name. I'm trying to remember. It was like... Um, what was it? it was something like Mr. Something or, not, or another. Or, or Sir Something. Sir Weston! Sir Weston, that was his name. Okay, now what you want to do is light these um, fires around him. That'll be hitting he'll be like, he'll be like, Ah, oh, it's so warm! I don't like the warmth! And then all you have to do right now is uh, just light, uh, start uh, melting his ice over there, and he's gonna try and shoot you with his icicles there. Eventually, after spraying him with enough fire there, he is going to expose his heart like that, and I'm surprised I haven't take, it, taken any damage from the icicle just yet. Um, now that you uh, made him vulnerable, he's going to reappear there, but he's, he's going to be a lot weaker. I mean, I should say his ice is going to be a lot weaker, and I finally took a hit from the icicle. Bang it! After I just said I didn't take a hit from it, I took a hit from it. Sure enough, 
and once again, a very sexual rumor, I have to say that appeared on the screen there. But, let's just keep trying until I get him. He's pretty strong, needless to say, because this is area four of the game. Come on, baby, come on, come on, oh, come on. <laughs> I want to clear out this room because once I do, these icicles will stop falling. That's why I didn't really want to get the boo right away in this room. Because otherwise I, I would have to deal with the icicles as well as uh, the boo himself. So I, I just want to kind of like divide and conquer, so to speak. Come on, two H left, man. Woo! That's all. Sir Weston is mine. As well as his pocket change. Well, okay, not his pocket change, his key. That was an awfully close camera angle. Oh, come on! This leads me back to the third floor. Come on, man! Anyway, I might as well get the, um, booze that are in the basement since all the rooms are now open. Uh, because I don't believe I'll have to come back to the basement later on. So I think that would be a good idea just to, like, get everything out of the way right away. Well, I will have to come back to the basement for the final boss battle. And it's Boulder Dash, I mean Boulder Dash, or Boulder Dash. Uh, however, however the heck he pronounces his own name. And I want him to go back into the ice room, because the ice room is... Well, it's kind of annoying because of its slippery, icy floor. Well, the cold storage room, I should call it. Um, it's, it's wide and it's easy to get booze in it. Um, not the drink. Not the drink, you alcohol-addicted people. So anyway... Uh, yeah, you'd probably have to drink to like my videos anyway. So, the pipe room is over here, and it's got the boo once again, and I will get that boo as much as I, you know, as, as I can help it, if I can help it, excuse me. Oh, man, I I should, like, blow my nose, and I, I'm, I'm feeling, like, really, really stuffed. I'm gonna do it between parts or something like that. Anyway, I, I'm, I'm definitely not gonna get to that boo in time this time, because it got away into the breaker room. At least I don't think I'm going to have enough time to get to him. Or maybe I will. We're going to see in just a minute. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm feeling like really nasally. It could be like allergies or something like that too. I don't know why I have allergies in winter. It must be something in the house. Um, he's, wait, wait. These drums? This table? Eh. Maybe those are booze hiding underneath the, the uh, cloths there on those tables like that. That would make a lot of sense. And there we go. Woo! And that takes care of that boo, finally. And I believe there is another boo um, back over into one of those other rooms. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong, though. Uh, the, but the basement is pretty much cleared out, except for one boo. If I'm not mistaken, as I said. So let's just go back into the cold storage room, because I'm pretty sure that's where the boo is. Yep. Probably in one of these drums here. No. Oh, there. Oh, yeah. There it is. It's boo repeats. Maybe it's like a centipede. I don't know. I don't understand the reference of that one either. It, oh, it had to go into the other room, didn't it? Okay. There's something else in this room. It's probably not going to be anything important, knowing this game. Uh, ooh, it is another boo. So I guess there's two more boos. Or see, there's two boos in this basement. And it went in the exact same room, so there's going to be two boos to deal with in the other room. Stop sliding around! Thank you. And I'm not I noticed I'm really low on HP. That's not good! I'm going to have to find... No, 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 don't pop. Don't make me explode. Thank you. And I'm going to get you in my vacuum. There we go. Now I have to look for the other boo of this room, because I know the other one went here. Um, basically, there, there can never be two... Boo attacks at the same time when two boos go into a different room that they originate from, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> and eight more HP to go. So, anyway, it basically allows you to divide and conquer right away without you having to put too much effort or worry into doing so. Um, let's see. What, what where is this? Another boo? How many boos did I miss in this, in the basement? I thought there was only one, and it turned out to be three? Oh, it's the ultra slow boo. Okay, let's try him again. I'm gonna get him to go into that room, just like that. And since he's so slow, I should be able to get him without any trouble before he goes into another room. Yay! Success! 
emphasis on the sock, because I evidently forgot how many boos I had to get in the basement here. Um, there's, since there's four main rooms in the basement here, um, besides the boss room, I believe that really is it for the, for the basement here. Just I just want to go through them really quick, because they're on my way back anyway. Um, I know I got the boo in the breaker room, because when I uh, scared the ghost, I should say got the ghost in the breaker room. Yeah, no, I don't want to go. Th I don't want to go that way just yet because that might trigger the final boss battle. I was gonna show you a little cutscene there, but it might actually, um, it might actually work against me because I, I don't want to start the final boss area. I should say go to the final boss area just yet. But if you go there when you don't have 40 boos, you'll basically get ejected by King Boo himself. It's a pretty funny scene, but you'll get thrown back to the foyer. Okay, that so that works for me. And the basement is cleared out. So the next thing that I'm going to be doing is going off to the second floor, which is over there where that key is. And I'll see you there in the next part. Hope you enjoyed.